gang, it looks like we got another mystery at our hands. And yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC is once again in the news. And yep, it, it fell out of the news because we had Dragon Age and other bull squash. But now Ubisoft special LGTV Captain BBC Samurai is back in the news. And gamers are not having it. Gamers are mad. And you, you know, the streets apparently are looking like this based off of what just happened. You want to know what happened, right? We're going to get right into it. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Guys, I want to know like where you guys are at, but apparently you're not ready for this one. Shout out to the homie Smash JT. Roll it. It's been a little while since we spoke about Ubisoft's ultimate yeah. incoming flop, Assassin's Creed oh, Shadow. Oh, first of all, first of all, I forgot, I forgot. Salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> It's been a minute, man. It's been a minute, so I even I forgot to say. And for good reason. The game itself kind of fell out of the news after yeah. it got booted back to Black History Month of 2025, and potentially even further than that, there was really no information that was coming out that needed to be discussed. Until a recent leak came out from a data mine showing how Assassin's Creed Shadow is being reworked to add a battle pass to a single player experience what's going on guys welcome to another episode of smash jt and while that is the headline of today's story there is battle pass in a single player game <laughs> and ubisoft was selling this game for 70 dollars right now 100 dollars early access that's what they're titling it right early access 100 dollars they're delaying their game to buy three days Bruh. and if you want the peasant version because that's a peasant version right if you want to buy the peasant version that's 70 dollars but if you want to be like, you want to get full access to the Captain BBC lounges, then a hundred dollars. You suck is crazy. So, and then they have the audacity to say 17, no, 17.99. So it is 80, 18, 18, 1, 8 USD per month. Bruh. You can actually buy their subscription and bring a BBC Samurai home for $18 a month. But once that expires, BBC gone. <laughs> BBC is gone. Like that, that's what these suckers doing right now, man. And now on top of all, these suckers have the audacity to put <laughs> uh, a what? Uh, battle pass, battle pass. You suckers out of your goddamn mind. There's a secondary, smaller portion of this regarding specifically Eurogamer and how they handled this leak that I definitely wanted to talk about as well. But yeah. suffice it to say that Assassin's Creed Shadows is the gift that keeps on giving to YouTubers for what a complete <laughs> catastrophe the game has turned yeah. into. It's been a few days since we had like any of, I mean, it, the woke stuff is still going on in video games, but like, it's been a few days since I covered a story on it, but this was just too good to ignore, man. What the hell? What the hell? Salute to the unspoken data miners for all this news, guys. Like the video for the data miners because they're giving you all the information about the game so you can make a, a like a real, uh, like a, what's the, what's the word? You can, what's the word? You can make a wise decision whether you want to buy the game or not, you know? Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article and links breaking down the leak of Assassin's Creed Shadows and the Battle Pass being attached to it now. The Assassin's Creed series was once renowned for its sprawling historical adventures that likely touched on reality, but more mm. recently embroiled in Yasuke controversies. And yeah. it is apparently taking a terrible step forward with its upcoming and delayed installment called Assassin's Creed Shadows. Bum, bum, According bum. to newly leaked information coming from Reddit, the game will feature a Battle Pass system for the first time in the franchise's history and this move is pissing a lot of gamers off right now especially when i share this on like twitter this, with like many this. of them focusing on how it's yet another instance of unnecessary monetization <laughs> in an already premium priced game <laughs> so i guess you've been yeah say if andy cortez is watching this here's a youtuber not talking about dei and instead talking about wrongful monetization in video games which oh would you look at that we still talk about this stuff too you need dei because you wouldn't have jobs if dei didn't exist to complain about you yeah. wouldn't be making money on YouTube if DEI didn't exist, so you're really the ones that need it. The leak was shared across all of social media before being aggressively scrubbed by Ubisoft, where many of the images are no longer available. I was able to snag a couple of them, but for oh, obvious reasons, I don't want Ubisoft taking this video down, so I won't mm -hmm. be sharing them here. But suffice it to say, I saw them with my own eyes. You can go to smashjt.com, check out the article linked in the description below. It links you to the Reddit post with the image posts on the Imager websites, where some of them are still up. You can see it for yourself that this looks like so he was like okay let me not show this in the video but i'm gonna put it on my website 
Because <laughs> these suckers ain't gonna be able to take it down, man. So, this is what Ubisoft is doing to my black homies like that, bro. Like, damn. So, they they done Yasuke, the real Yasuke, absolutely dirty by turning, by changing him, right? And they have the audacity to now release this game on Black History Month and say that this is our special LGTV Captain BBC Samurai. Just cause he black, you suckers were like, he gay. Just cause he black, right? Just cause he black. Damn, man, y'all suckers crazy. If he wasn't, if he was gay in real life, then yeah, makes sense. Then makes sense. He was not even, he was straight as hell, bro. He was not gay in real life. If he was, then yes, makes sense, right? But he was not, but they're like, okay, we're gonna do that. $100, uh, we gotta charge $100, gotta release it in Black History Month. Uh, or you guys can pay us $18 and bring BBC Samurai home. You got that option. And now they have Battle Pass. They got Battle Pass. They got Battle Pass. <laughs> now these things got Battle Pass. What? You suck it out of your goddamn mind. I'd be looking like this man from Amazing Spider-Man 2, right? That He was the villain in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Man, I love his character in that movie a lot, man. Damn. Damn. Like, what, what is going on, man? What is going on in gaming, bruh? I, re I was reading comments, okay? And one guy in the comment section said this. Credit to that person. Salute to that guy as well. He said that Yasuke might be the most skilled assassin ever. Most skilled assassin. Hear me out. Most skilled assassin ever. Yasuke might be the most skilled assassin ever because he took down Ubisoft. You know, he took down the company. And I'm saying... Where are the lies? Brother speaking facts. Brother speaking facts. Like a very legitimate leak with official shots of Yasuke and what looks to be a battle pass arena where he's trying to update his arena. equipment and stats via the battle pass. Spike toilet paper said a battle pass in a single player game which from Ubisoft will likely nickel and dime you for things like OP early game weapons if you want to know all the secrets on the map and if you want to buy resources for upgrades instead of playing the game. Things that exist 100% in Valhalla and Odyssey with a image Damn. attached of a very concerned ninja. The battle pass contains 23 <laughs> tiers of rewards and those tiers oh will grant God. players access to various cosmetic items including character costumes, weapon skins, and the new designs for mounts. Items that are are reminiscent of the optional cosmetics offered in previous Assassin's Creed games through Ubisoft Connect or the standalone DLCs. The players Man. will reportedly progress through this so-called battle pass by completing daily missions housed with a new feature called the Animus Hub. The hub is teased by Ubisoft as a cornerstone to Assassin's Creed Infinity, and it serves as kind of like a connective branch between all the games, aiming at streamlining the elements like modern day narratives and ongoing live service updates. And I'm sure there are people out there that are going to be arguing like, oh, they've had these kind of things in previous Assassin's Creed games before. What's the big deal? Why do you care? Why even bring this up? Ubisoft is trying to use Assassin's Creed Shadows to more seamlessly integrate the battle pass into the gameplay experience. Mm, the leaked yeah, artwork shows experience. Yasuke standing within the hub, and it suggests that players will interact with the system through Damn. their character game everybody's like afraid right now right like, avatar and my guy be like dead ass like hey we got you homie here in america or canada i'm in canada here in north america in japan like this is how they salute captain bbc right but you know here this is how we salute it man salute to captain bbc this is how we salute the captain bbc man but honestly bro jokes aside this is just insane as to what they have done to japan or asian culture right we're talking 1600 man this bruh like he's out there just slicing all the japanese man damn Obviously, Ubisoft hasn't said anything or officially Everybody's confirmed afraid details, of him. but when you look at how they swiftly scrubbed the Holy. internet of the images and are trying to keep up with the ones that keep popping up right now, it's pretty safe to assume that this leak is legitimate. The inclusion of a battle pass is already pissing off the fan base, like I said, and the community is viewing it as an unwelcome encroachment of a live service modernization into a franchise that historically has focused on single player experiences. There is a return to form by Ubisoft. <laughs> So we buy your tr uh, game as tr uh, quadruple A. Quad that's right. That's right. Quadruple A price, and then need to pay for Battle Pass Two. Let alone, it's a complete game, not live service, <laughs> and, and we'll need to pay for your DLC too. What? Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah. There is literally no reason for this to exist except to try and squeeze additional money out of. I think the reason is because the game. We heard that the game was not selling too well in comparison to their previous Assassin's Creed game, which sounds believable uh, after their Star Wars uh, flopping as well, right? Star Wars, man, that's massive. That's a massive franchise. 
So to see their Star Wars Outlaws flop, yeah, anything is possible. Damn, Ubisoft, how many L's do you want to score for a single game? <laughs> but trust the corpus and the... Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, and the access media, they know what real gamers want. What a bunch of doorknobs uh, the guy said. Damn, homie. Acceptable players. And of course, they'll be doing this with... And he liked the, the tweet in front of our very own eyes. <laughs> Guys, really quickly, I want to say if you do have Twitter or X or Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. One of the biggest flops incoming in Ubisoft's history because they're already in so much debt trying to create this game and push a narrative with DEI that yeah. they need to make as much money as possible for the people that do buy it. And with that all out of the way, I now want to address the elephant in the room, which is Eurogamer that covered this on Twitter earlier. And I saw the article and I was like, oh, the comment section is going to be gold here. And wouldn't you know but... it, they turned off replies. And you got to take a step back and wonder, why would Eurogamer report on this leak and not allow the community to comment on it? And then you look at it and you say, oh yeah, access media. By disabling replies, it's using a tactic that I've seen increasingly employed by a lot of these so-called media outlets. And mm -hmm. it raises those pesky questions about real transparency and the role of the press in holding publishers. Yo, why are you in a hurry, my guy? Like, he walking like, no, 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 no. He walking fast right now. There's accountable. By turning off the replies, Eurogamer is clearly no. No, acting no, 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 in no, no, Ubisoft's no. best interest to maintain their access media privileges. The early access to games, exclusive interviews, and the other kind of perks that they always seem to rely on for favorable relationships. Oh, with the boy, publishers so that they can be the first ones to talk about stuff but at the same time they're very <laughs> conflicted because they're trying to report on breaking news that's actually very important to get out there but they can't let the gamers actually talk about it because they don't want ubisoft to be pissed off at them oh the tangled webs we weave pavel hr on twitter said they're not journalists but activists and yeah. left-wing activists hate free speech and people speaking their mind so to protect their echo chamber and their ideology from criticism they usually ban people mm. or when they can't remove comments mm. same as pc gamer and video game Chronicle. The inclusion of the battle pass in Assassin's Creed Shadows marks a comical moment for the flailing franchise, and it signals Ubisoft's deeper commitment to live service models over player enjoyment. The decision has been met with plenty of backlash from plenty of fans. So I got 22 Tatara Cole lacquered metal. Okay. Questioning the impact on the core identity of the Assassin's Creed. Battle pass for a single player game? Are they out of their minds? They are being cooked on Reddit, that's quite telling. Facebook also won't surprise me if they hide replies on Facebook. Bumbo clad. I, I guess they are, they are losing a lot of a lot of money. They're losing a lot of money. And that's why they're like including it. Because what they did was they delayed the game in the name of hey we need more time to fix the game we need more time but we all know it's because low sales and they're not generating money right and, and of course because of the controversy because they always do that they can never make a normal straight black person in the video games ever and for 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 and this is a game set in japan and people wanted a japanese protagonist but they're like okay we're gonna add a black protagonist in it and we're also not gonna like yeah like we don't we don't like the black community so therefore we're gonna like make sure he's not straight so they, these things are double that's doubly racist bro so they're being racist towards black people they're openly being racist towards white people and of course asian people as well to them brown people like me don't even exist right so yeah and these things are also using lgtv people as shields as well these things hate everybody these things hate everybody man and they don't like women no more either because if you're a woman you gotta be uh either either you're a mo woman that hates men if, if you're a woman that hates men then you know you're good in the book of uh, ubisoft but if you're like a normal woman they don't like you either because if you're a woman that looks like a woman then they're like okay we gotta we gotta turn that woman around too man <laughs> like these things are hella sexist racist misogynist yeah man and then they turn around and they're like gamers are toxic then they have the audacity to call out gamers so it, it gotta be the game is probably not doing well and, and then they're like okay we need to release this we gotta release it at black history month yeah there we go boys we gotta release it at black history month and we gotta have make sure we have battle pass as well the most premium the most premium battle pass ever and yeah just because he black we gotta make him disabled too eventually they're gonna get to that they're gonna make him of course for for sure this is the andy pence thumbnail he did that for like jokes and whatnot but like let's be real 
let's be real, they're probably gonna have a disabled character in the game as well, and he's probably gonna be black, he or she is gonna be black. I, I don't know why they cannot make a normal, straight, black person in a, in a game or movie nowadays. Bro, why? Why are you guys doing that to brown and black people like that, bro? Like, what the hell? Usually, to them, brown people don't even exist, so I don't want to include m me in it, but... But, like, you feel what I'm saying, right? And they are openly racist towards white people. White people bad, this and that, right? Like... Assassin's Creed series, while you also look at outlets like Eurogamer trying to run cover for Ubisoft and say, Hey, I... They can't... And, and they're calling it free battle pass, right? Everyone, so. here's the news, here's what happened. Don't talk about the game in the comments section. But come, give us a click, look at our article, and let us be the ones that give you the information. But don't talk about Ubisoft, don't talk about them in a negative light, because hey, we're a news outlet, we're just giving you guys the information, don't yeah. talk back to us. Plastic Man said, vote with your wallet, all. Do not support them. This game, plus the last few, is going to kill this company. Make yeah, sure 100%. it does. 100%. And there's a growing sentiment throughout the community of just sheer spite, and frustration, and all-around hatred. For Ubisoft in general, which does yeah right, uh, but but here's the thing though, it's not the gamer's fault. It's not the gamer's fault because these sickers have been doing crap like that for years and years. So now everybody's like, everybody had enough. Everybody had enough, and for for a minute, right? Like people forgot about Assassin's Creed. Not necessarily forgot, forgot, but like people stopped talking about it. Now they're in the light once again. Now they're there because of this battle pass crap. So the more they do this crap, the more they piss off the gamers. The more uh, and gamers start to look like this after that. And the more gamers are looking like this, they're not gonna buy, man. They're not gonna buy your game. I think they're just trying to bank on uh, the nostalgia. But but to be fair though, it's an Assassin's Creed title. It's still gonna sell, but it's probably like seeing seeing what's happening in the community, and it's kind of kind of like. Because back in the days, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, if you have been around the channel, you know you probably heard me say this. So I, negative attention will sell the game even more. If you guys are gonna say you're not gonna buy, well, guess what? There are ten people ready to buy on your behalf in a way, right? So people, gamers, this does not apply to gaming. It applies everywhere else. Because like, let's just say there's bad news. People are gonna boycott in real life. But in video games, now nah, man, gamers are not built like that. But guess what? I was wrong. I was wrong. wrong. And thankfully, and gl I'm glad to be wrong because I definitely want to see a change happen in video games. And I feel like that a lot of gamers are now waking up and people are realizing, hey, the only way we're gonna have change is if we stop giving our hard earned money to these company i feel like that there are multiple factors number one this stuff has been ongoing for way too long and it's going on over and over and they're pissing off everybody they're openly being racist towards white people black people asian people uh and yeah we're seeing all the woke stuff that's going down that's that's one right that's number one secondly gamers are getting older as well you know people are getting older and uh people getting more responsibilities also the economy is also not that good inflation is on the rise so multiple factors so people are like hey man do i really want to like waste my money on crap games right like so people are genuinely asking this question uh, and also people have been burned gamers have been burnt many times with bad releases over and over so it kind of makes sense why now we're seeing a lot of massive franchises kind of like flop even the massive ones the smaller ones the new ones like concord we all know what happened with concord right <laughs> 400 million plus US dollars was that that game's budget eight plus years in development oh, shit. Oh, And that game couldn't even make a million dollars Could you imagine that they had to shut it down then there were rumors that they're gonna drop that game for free after the fact But they announced that they're shutting down their studio They shut down the studio. This is how big this is getting so gamers like are waking up and yeah shout out to the gamers man Shout out to you guys watching as well. If you want change, this is the only way, man. This is the only way. This is the only way. Don't buy, don't support the product. I mean, if you if you like Assassin's Creed, if you think this game is for you, then man, who am I to stop you, right? Like, it's your money, you do you, right? Nothing against anybody that wanna buy it. But if you're somebody that's like, I want, I deserve better, I, I don't want them to just like, constantly say I'm toxic, problematic, this and that, go die, this and that, you're toxic, misogynist, homophobic, and that crap. If you don't want to be labeled all of that by these companies, and you you think you deserve better and you want better games in the future, 
simply put, the only way you can bring change is by talking about it and also uh, by not buying their products. Simple, simple as that, simple as that. Talk about it or if you don't want to talk about it, cool. Don't buy and simple as that, simple as that. Circle back to the diversity, equity, inclusion conversation, but now we see it spiraling to why people do not want to prop this company up when they try to do other things to make money instead of making a good game focused on the actual gameplay itself, injecting the DEI into it, they are now going external and trying to throw in battle passes, nickel mm. and dime people, because mm. the actual core group of gamers that aren't buying the games, they need to make up for that lost income somewhere. And now we're seeing it in the most ridiculous way possible. As and recently there were also rumors about Ubisoft selling, right? Which were confirmed by one of the business uh, insider. Not the business insider company, but one of the insider, right? So I'm not sure what's happening to that. So this is how bad this has been. <gasps> that Ubisoft is considering selling their company to Tencent. Not for like, guys, uh, not for like 10 cents as like change, but Tencent the company, okay? Right. It's, a, it's a Chinese company. So they're considering selling it. We heard about this news, not sure how true that is. Apparently the rumor is real in, in terms of they're looking into it, but are they really gonna sell it? That's the real question. I, I don't know if they're gonna, to be honest, nobody knows. I think they're considering it. Ubisoft prepares to finally officially unveil Assassin's Creed Shadows with more information and this battle pass leak. The reaction to everything coming out right now is Crazy. serving as quite the litmus test for just how far the gaming community is willing to embrace or, let's be honest, more likely reject these kinds of moves. Ubisoft's mm. back is against the wall and they're starting to lash out and do ridiculous things that gamers yeah. are rejecting wholeheartedly. The real battle Absolutely. here may not come within the game itself, but between the developers, the journalists, if you even <laughs> want to call them that, and the players out there that they yeah. claim to serve. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there if you guys- Guys, check out this video on the screen because recently Nick Marix, Dr. Disrespect, Swag, Tim the Tatman are all in the drama. Massive exposing just went down. Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.